Hey makers this is Dravin and in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can merge two tables as a part of your join and show the data from multiple table in the Power Apps gallery This is also one of the most requested topic from my channel so let's have a look So here I have one use case specifically when I have the product master table over here. So this is my SharePoint list where I have product name, their manufacturing year, their color, and the country of origin column. Now I have another table over here called product orders. In order table, what happen here is I have product name, how many quantity they have purchased, what's the price per quantity, and who has ordered this particular product. I have this information. Now, at the end, what kind of result I want to achieve here is with this product name whenever I'm showing the data in the gallery, I need the manufacturing year colors from this product master table where we have stored the master data. And that master data is mapped with this particular key called product. So product is a common column in between these two and whatever final gallery is result that we are showing over here inside the power apps this is all the columns which are coming from my uh, product order table but over here there are couple of more columns which i need from my master table which is manufacturing year color and country so how can we do that we know that whenever we add the gallery control we can provide only one data source okay but how to connect another data source or what is the way to pull out the value from the other table and show it in the same gallery let's have a look so over here you can see that i have my gallery control added over here and by default what we have done here is as a part of our data source we just added one data source which is my order table over here okay so this is all order tables column i'm showing like id product quantity unit price and this total price is again what we are doing is this item dot unit price into this item dot quantity that's what we are doing so we already know that how to create a gallery and how to show column into that so we are not going to too much deep dive into it and we just printed the gallery from our first table which is my order table okay now these are the couple of information which i need from my second table which is my master table for that we need to change a code a little bit inside the gallery so select your gallery control and over here we need to now provide our next set of code but before we do that particular part if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far do follow me along with that hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel as well so over here to get started let's add a formula like add columns so add columns is a formula which is used to find out the value from the other table so first we will create one column where we bring entire record over here as a new column so let's just provide like product order let's provide one alias as and let's abbreviate it as po and after that let's provide the new column name over here like product info product info this is the new column we are creating over here on the fly and let's provide its value so for that we will use a lookup formula inside that lookup and let's have a look on our product master table and over there we will match the title of product master is equal to my purchase orders title so po dot title let's provide it and what it will do here is it will create one additional column inside my uh, table on the fly so this add columns is somewhat which is adding that entire row over here as a part of your join now what we will do here is we'll simply need to go here and let's provide that value so let's provide like this item and when you do dot operator it will show the newly created column that you have done so product info is not actually your data source column this is what you created here so it will you need to provide it over here like this item dot product information okay and after that you need to use one more dot operator so when you use dot it will show you all the other columns over here so let's say for an example in your product master you have a column like manufacturing year so you can simply print it over here like manufacturing year so start searching for that mfg year so let's print it and you can see that for this particular product 
like macbook this is what the manufacturing year and it will simply show that value now same way we need to go here and let's provide in the same way this item dot product info dot let's provide its value called color that's it and same way country this item dot product info dot country value that you need to provide over here and that's how it is we successfully combined both the table together into this one table itself right so that's how we combine two tables and show it over here hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any paid consultation or training the website link is available over here and don't forget to follow me on my instagram twitter and all my social media handle links are available in the description box with this this is truvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye